like to say good morning to our Sunday school class. And it's another beautiful day. And we thank God that uh, we're able to come together again. Amen. Amen. Um, our lesson today is Lesson 11 and date November 15, 2020. Unit 3, Godly Love Among Believers. And our subject is loving others. Amen. We are very, this is a very good lesson. Amen. First of all, I'd like to say, giving on God, unto to God, and to our pastor. Amen. And his wife and all of our ministers and deacons and trustees and, and to Brother Nehemiah and I just just everyone as that is a part of Centennial Body. And all those that may be watching, uh, maybe not in town or out of town, I'd like to give a shout out to you. And we thank God for you. And we ask you to continue to uh, support us, amen, as we try to, uh, to bring the word, amen. Um, let us pray. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the many blessings you have bestowed upon us, Lord. We thank you for keeping us and guiding us in your your uh, righteous path, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for just everything you've done and, and going to do in our lives. You are worthy and worthy of the praise, Lord. You are worthy of the praise. Amen. Amen. Like say also to uh, Brother Nehemiah, we thank God for him and, and his wife. Amen. Um, as we go into our lesson, uh, it says loving others. Amen. That that is the basic, the base of our uh, walk with Christ is is love. Amen. That's our foundation. Uh, if we don't love, Amen. God is not in us. Amen. As we go into our first part of our lesson, and it's sub, and the uh, the title of our first part of our lesson is the evidence test. Amen. Um, and we go to the, uh, the 11 verse says, for this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Amen. And this, this, this is how uh, Christianity uh, begins. It, it starts with love. And we know that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. So it started with love. So Love is a part of giving. Love is a part of sharing. Love is a, is is really uh, when we share the word. It's through love that we share this word. So uh, all might have an opportunity to, opportunity to be saved. Amen. Uh, so from the beginning, this is the message that we preach. We preach love, 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 love. We never preach hate. If you look in the news, uh, we see the politicians, we see all the ones that, amen, they're just so divided, amen. And 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 I don't really think Christians should even get involved in it, amen. Because we have to, we're not Democrat or Republican, we're Christians. And um, we have a, 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 a president is similar to a king, amen. And we have a king. And our King is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and that's Jesus Christ. Amen. We can trust in Him to do all things. He He can do all things. Amen. He'll supply every need according to His riches and glory. So we don't have to be arguing with people or angry with people for their political views because we have to love everyone, no matter what their political views are. We love everyone. So we can't get involved and then get caught up in the cares of this world as we'll be angry with people. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna show you something in the word about anger also, amen. It's very important that we don't get upset about that, uh, get caught up in the cares of the world. And, um, and uh, the word be choked out of us and, and we can't function properly. Amen. So 12 verse says, not as Cain, who was the was of the wicked one and slew his brother and wherefore slew him, he him, because his own works were evil and his brother's works righteous. And we know the reason Christ was crucified because his works were righteous and, and all the Jews and, and, and all those uh, at that time, they, their works were wicked. So the Lord was exposing them. 
Amen. By him doing the right things, he was showing people that these people were not righteous. They might have talked righteous and you know with their mouth, but their actions were not righteous. Amen. They called on the name of they called on God, but they didn't truly believe in him because they didn't do keep his commandments. Amen. So let's look at let's go to the fifth chapter of Genesis. Amen. Let's go to the fifth chapter of Genesis. And we'll see what happened with Cain and Abel. Amen. <clears throat> it's a very, very, very good lesson. Amen. Amen. Um, praise God. Let's see now. All right, let's make it the the uh, fourth. Let's go. Let's go to the fourth chapter. I'm sorry. Let's go to the fourth chapter of Genesis. Amen. Uh, and this and listen to this. Um, people get angry with us when we uh, do things that are are right. And um, and when you live a Christian life, people don't. Sometimes they don't like you. They don't. They don't want to have anything to do with you. And they will even separate themselves from your company. They don't. They they won't even want to be around you. Amen. But let's look at what happened with Cain and Abel. And what brought on this situation of 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 Cain being evil? Amen. Listen. Um. It says in the, in the third verse, in fourth chapter, in the third verse of Genesis says. And in, and in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and uh, an offering unto the Lord. And Abel, he also brought of the firstling of his fruit and of the fat thereof. Amen. And, um, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering, but Cain, uh, but unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect amen and Cain was very wroth and his confidence fell and that's the way it is people don't want to do right they don't want to do with the will of God and they'll get angry with you because God is blessing you and they and you're doing the will of God and they're mad because they they don't want to do it they can they can do the same thing you do they can receive the same blessings amen but they don't want to put the time in or the effort to do what is right amen so they'll get angry with you and even to the point to they want to kill you amen even today people uh have so much bitterness that built up in them they want to take your life amen and the lord tells Tell us, if we want to be forgiven, we have to forgive. Amen. So, therefore, we have to be meek and humble. We have to be very, very uh, loving. Amen. So, we can have that attitude. Amen. As Cain did. Amen. And it's confidence feel. And you can tell when someone is not happy with you anymore. They're, they're just the look on their face and the way they treat you, it changes. Amen. They can be nice and nice and, you know, but then once they get get that feeling or uh, that anger in them, their continents change. Amen. And the Lord said to Cain, why art thou wroth? And why is thy continents fallen? If thou do well, shall uh, thou not be accepted? And if thou do not well, sin lie at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him amen so sin will take control over you amen when we allow these things to come in our lives then we'll do things amen uh that satan will satan will take control of our lives amen so that's why we have to forgive and we have to love and we not not covet our neighbor's house we shouldn't should we should do what we can do and when we do those things then we should be satisfied with those things amen we know we're doing it in the name of Jesus, we're doing the best we can. Amen. Uh, and Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said to Cain, where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. 
Am I my brother's keeper? And that's what you, that's the, the feeling you start getting. You, I, hey, hey, I don't even want to deal with them anymore. I don't even want to be around. Uh, I, I'm not worried about what happened to them. Why are you asking me about them? You know, why you, why, why should I care about them? But we as Christians, we should care about one another. We should love one another and be concerned about what's happening in the lives of the other saints. Amen. So, is it? And he said, "What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood, uh, um, uh, see. And he said, "What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the the earth, which has opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand." When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. And you imagine, you look in the course today, you find out people will take the lives of other people, then they want the uh the the the, the, the government to spare or the courts to spare their lives. And that's the same way Cain was. And, and, and his life was spared. Amen. Um, the Lord don't, and it's amazing, a lot of times we, we expect the Lord to just wipe people out right away. But there are many people that have taken people's lives and are still alive. Amen. They live long lives. Amen. And and uh, God is a merciful God. That's why we don't understand all the ways of God. And we would say, uh, you know, Take, you know, kill them, take their lives. Amen. You know that David, he murdered them. He had, he had a man murdered. Amen. So God spared his life. Amen. So how many of us have have uh God spared our lives? Amen. If uh let's go to let's go to um let's go to Let's go to Matthew and the, I think it's a fifth, Matthew 5. Uh, let's see. Amen. Uh, let's go to Matthew 5. And uh, the 21st verse. It say, You have heard that it was said by them the whole time, Thou shalt not kill. And whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. Now, listen to what the Lord says. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. Amen. Anger. How many of us have been angry with someone without a cause? So a lot of times we think, oh, that's that's not as bad as taking a life. But the law says it is just as bad as taking as taking a person's life. Amen. We're in danger of judgment. Amen. What is judgment? Hell. Amen. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of judgment. And whosoever shall say unto uh, his brother Rocker, which means a worthless, a person worthless, or be in danger, uh, um, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool shall be in danger of hellfire. So even if you call someone a fool, you know, how many, ever, how many people say, Hey, look at that fool. Look at that fool. You know, how many ever said that and let allowed that to come out of their mouth? Amen. You're putting yourself in danger of, of hell. Amen. So we uh, uh, um, we have to be careful in what come out of our mouths, amen, and how we feel. Uh, the Lord put a mark on Cain, amen, and say anybody that killed Cain will uh, uh, be, God was going to take vengeance on them seven times, uh, uh, seven times more than Cain, amen. So it um, uh, God meant for us to, he don't, he don't, enjoy people taking other people's lives. God does not 
uh, that's why the, uh, the, the commandment said, thou shalt not kill. And then we can kill with our mouths, uh, how we treat one another, being angry and just, amen. Uh, who win the presidency, pres presidency, does that matter? Amen. Is that worth getting angry with someone? Amen. Is it? Well, how, well, how important is that? All these things are going to disappear. It's going to be wiped away. And then when the kingdom of God comes, it won't even be a, it's going to be Jesus on the throne. And that's, that's the king of kings. Amen. So there won't be any, any of these things. Amen. It said, more than not, my brother, if the world hate you. Amen. Let's move on to, listen, let's move on to John, the 15th chapter. Amen. Now, uh, and the 20th verse. Now, listen what it says. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will what? Also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will what? Keep yours, yours also. So, amen. Um, it should have been, uh, Cain and Abel should have been able to get along. And we had, in our churches today, we should be able to get along. We shouldn't have any kind of animosity or anything toward each, toward each other. It shouldn't be that among the saints. Amen. So if you persecute me, if you're constantly trying to, to, to uh, 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 harass me and, and do things to me to make me angry or, 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 or to cause uh, discourse around the, in the congregation, amen, we have to be... We have to make sure we're not doing those things. Amen. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. And listen what it says. Say, marvel not. Amen. Uh, marvel not, my brother, if the world hates you. The world is going to hate us. Amen. Uh, if you're getting along and you're out there mingling in the world, you're getting along with the world, you Amen. Watch out. Amen. There's something wrong. Amen. Because there's enmity between God's seed and the devil's seed. Amen. So that's why uh, Cain got angry with 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 Abel because there was enmity. There was a a, a wall. Amen. Because one believe one uh, uh, believe one thing and another one believe another. Um, Abel was righteous. He believed in righteousness. And uh, Cable Cain, he believed in in in, in 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 his flesh. His he follows his flesh. Amen. That's why his sacrifice wasn't accepted. Amen. Now, but all these things will they do to you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had seen. And you imagine uh, if Abel wouldn't have gave the right. Uh, uh, sacrifice. If you want to sacrifice the right thing, you would have never known that Abel, I mean, that Cain didn't sacrifice the right thing. So by Abel doing right, it exposed Cain. Amen. And that's the way it is now. When you do right and you do the right things and you set good example, it exposes people. It show that they're not doing the right things. And Jesus came, he came to expose everybody. I mean, I was exposed, you was a, you were exposed, amen? If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had seen. But now they have no cloak for their sin. So therefore, they hate you because you set a good example and they can't hide anymore, amen? They wonder why you're not doing the same thing they do. But then... They want you to do the same thing they do because they can feel good about themselves. Say, look, hey, hey, Tim, Tim is doing the same thing I'm doing, so hey, I'm okay, amen. But when they see me not doing the things that they're doing and doing what God say, then it makes them angry because they say, dog, he, you know, he's doing this and doing that. I don't even want to be around. All you know, you don't want to see it. You don't even want to see that person because they, they represent. When Jesus and they represent righteousness. Amen. Now let me read just a little bit more. If I had done not had done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had seen. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. Amen. 
And but this comes to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They have hated me without a cause. Amen. What was the cause of Cain? Why did Cain? Why did Cain hate? Hey, what was the reason? What did he do to him? Nothing. Only thing he did was the will of God. Why do people in the church hate one another? Why? Why do people not get along with one another? Amen. Just because a person want to do right and live a righteous life, you get angry with them because they. And even when they tell you the truth, you, people get, will get angry with you. They get mad because because you tell them that what God said. Amen. It's the word of God. It's not my word. It's not your word. It's the word of God. If God said thou shalt not be in, you should. Amen. That's God's word. We know that we have passed from death unto life. We know that we're Christians. Amen. When these things happen to us and we're and people are treating us like that, we know we are part of the kingdom of God because we love what? The brethren. Our examples. We set examples. They know that we look, we're part of, part of Christ. Amen. We're part of the kingdom of God because we show love even to people that hate us. Even to people that don't, don't treat us right. He that loves not his brother abideth in death. So Lord is telling us, uh, so don't even expect to go to heaven. Don't expect to be saved. If you don't forgive folks, if you haven't forgiven somebody that done you wrong or you got something against someone, you are not going to help. You are not going to enter in. Whosoever hates his brother is what? A murderer. That means you you don't have to have a gun. You don't have to have a knife. You don't have to have a stick. You don't have to have anything. It, it's all in your heart. Whatever is in your heart. If you hate someone, amen, uh, and you are just like someone that, that's out here that we see in our in our uh in our neighborhoods today all the murders going on you you're no better than that person that's killing in in the streets amen and a lot of times we want to look at them and say look at all that murder going on why what's, what's wrong with these people why are they killing one another and then we see we have the same thing that happens in our families and the same thing happened in our church churches we hate one another people are hating hating on one another Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're hating one another. And then we point our finger at the people that are killing in the street. And when we're doing the same thing with our mouths and with our in our hearts. Amen. And ye know that no murder hath any murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. That means in no way you're gonna go into heaven having a bad, having a bad attitude, having a bad heart, hating somebody. Because guess what? That person going to be in heaven, and if you're in heaven with them, you're going to take hate right with you. Because the first thing you're going to do, you're going to remember what, what you, how you felt before, and you're going to feel the same thing in heaven. In heaven, we can be contaminated with sin, all sin. Amen? So, therefore, you will not go. We, whoever have, has that feeling, we have to love everybody. We have to love. Amen? The, the church is about love. Amen? Praise God. Amen. And let's go to the 16th verse. Hereby, hereby we um, perceive we the love of God because he what? Laid down. How do the, we know that the Lord loved us? Because he laid down his life for us. Amen. You meant while we were yet sinners, Christ died for our sins. Amen. He died for our sins. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we are to lay down our lives for the brother. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you are your brother's keeper. You are responsible. You're responsible to live a godly life in front of the, your brothers, your sisters, they may at home, on your job. You are responsible. God has given you a, a response, responsibility. Guess what? We're supposed to keep our responsibility to the Lord. Amen. He said, uh, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Amen. We're supposed to teach the nation. We're supposed to set the examples. Amen. So uh uh it uh it's a living, we become what living sacrifice. It's a when we give our life to Christ, is when we follow Christ, we're following Christ's footsteps, amen. So we are our brother's keeper. But 17 verse says, But whoso has this world good. And sees his brother have need and shuts up his bowels of compassion from him. 
How dwelleth the love of God in him? So we're even so, supposed to share with one another. Um, some that might have need have a need, and and you might have more than what you need. Share it with someone. And while I was saying it in your closets, now we can't even uh, since we can't uh, 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 go about like we usually go. We got so much many clothes, and we got so much stuff in our closet. All that stuff right now is just sitting up and just 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 riding away or be, becoming more and more corrupt. Amen. When you can take some of those things, amen, and share them with others, uh, amen, uh, food or whatever a person have need of, especially the ones of the household of faith. Uh, when we uh, see that someone is in need, we should be willing to share with them and give to them and help them that they'll be able to make it, amen, and to survive, amen. The Lord said, the poor you're going to have with you always. And when you hear these preachers talking about, hey, it, it, you know, you should be rich and you should have this and have that. Jesus said, the poor you shall have with you always, amen. And that's, and the reason why, and also one of the reasons says, there, there's an offering we're supposed to take up, which is the poor saint offering. I don't say the poor sinner offering. It says the poor saint. Amen. So there are saints that's going to be poor. Amen. Not going to have everything that they need. So we're supposed to share. And that's why God gives to us so we can what? So we can give to others. He, he's, he supply our needs and give us overflow so we can help others. Amen. Um, amen. And then how then say how dwells the love of God in him? So God is love, God share. God fed us even while we were in our sins. God fed us and took care of some of us. He has he had good jobs and, and the worst sinners. Amen. Praise God. We were terrible and still God fed us. He said, My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Amen. Love the Lord in spirit. Amen. We Love, we worship him in spirit and in truth. We love God. And we're not just going to be, amen, uh, uh, just mouth, mouthpieces, amen. Come close to a, to a person with our lips and our hearts are far from him. Amen. We come close to God with our lips and our heart is far from him. We want to love and be a true love, a genuine love that we care for one another. Amen. Let us love one another. Let us care for one another. Amen. I thank you today. We give you praise and we give God the glory. Amen. And be blessed.